everybody. Welcome to the next lesson on regular expressions. In this lesson, we're going to be working on how to combine the sequences and characters that are commonly used in regular expressions in complex regular expressions that can be used to describe information like my name or my zip code examples, which we will be going over in this lesson. If you're unfamiliar or confused on some of these, some of the sequences and characters that are used in regular expressions, uh, please go back to the previous lesson and refresh. Let's say we have a text file and it is composed of a lot of pieces of information about me. For this lesson, we're only going to use two. So one line contains my full name and another line contains my zip code. We're going to try to find regular expressions or make regular expressions that can map each piece of information. So let's start out with my full name. A regular expression is a string composed of these specialized characters. Um, we want to make sure we have those quotes to form a string. The first character of the line is the first letter of my name. So we're going to use the character symbol in order to make sure that the first character on that line is the first letter of my name. The first letter of anybody's name is always a capital letter. So we're going to use the brackets and we're going to use capital A to Z to represent any uh, capital letter. First name only has one capital letter and the rest of the first name is composed of lowercase letters. So we're going to use the brackets again and we're going to use lowercase A to Z to represent all of the lowercase letters in my first name. And we're going to use the plus sign, which indicates that there has to be one or more lowercase letters in my first name. That's it for my first name. Now, uh, there's a space between my first name and my last name. So we have to use the regular expression sequence that uh, represents a, a blank white space. So, and that is backslash backslash S. In Java, you have to use two backslashes. And now let's get started with my last name. So my last name also starts out with a capital letter. Anybody's last name starts out with a capital letter. And the rest of the name is composed of lowercase letters. We're going to do the same thing. So first character is composed of a capital letter. And everything after the capital letter is lowercase. So we're going to use lowercase a to z. And since there has to be one or more lowercase letters in your last name, we need the plus sign in order to represent that. We have the regular expression that represents my full name. We're going to create a regular expression that entails the zip code. Now in the US, the zip code is composed of five digits. The first thing that you notice about this is that the first character in the line is a digit. So we're going we're gonna to use the caret again in order to make sure the first character in the line is a digit. We're going to use backslash backslash D, which represents any digit. Now we have to make sure that there are five of these digits. We're going to use the braces, which specify how many of the preceding expression there should be. In this case, we're just going to put five since we want five digits. And that's a regular expression for a zip code. It's, it's composed of five digits. See you next lesson.